Welcome to the APE tutorial video series number 11. This video will show the graphic map. The graphic map is available from the toolbar with this icon or from Enzymes Graphic Map or Graphic Map Plus U. So the graphic map can show circular maps of sequences that are circular or um, for sequences that are linear will show a linear map. The settings and configurations for linear maps are largely the same as for circular maps and so for this demonstration I'll show circular maps. If you have um, enzymes selected within the enzyme selection box and you do a graphic map those enzymes will show up. If you put your mouse over the enzyme it will um, highlight all of the same the enzymes of the same type in red and if you click on any of those enzymes it will change the selection to that site. If you shift click it will change it will um, move the selection from where where it presently is to include um, that restriction enzyme site. If you have no enzyme selected if you um, do enzymes graphic map plus U, it will show um, the unique enzymes even if they're not within the selected set. And similarly, these are live linked back to the sequence. And if you double click, it will raise the um, original window that this graphic map refers to. Once you have the graphic map, you can configure either by right-clicking anywhere within the window or clicking Image Configure. This will allow you to um, configure things like the font of the text, the font size, the circle of the, um, of the map. You can change the color. You can change the crosshairs, taking them off or making them more prominent. You can um, make these text smaller. Similarly, you can change the text values, um, making these smaller or changing the font or um, changing the color. You can change the index um, so that you can take it off you can make it um, have every hundred base, every thousand bases, and then um, the minor ticks can be um, made more prominent. You can change the number of minor ticks. You can change the color. So these are gray. Change the width. Then finally, within features, you can um, do several things. You can sort this table of features by their location, by their length, by their type. You can take any selected features and hide them from the map so that um, only the features that you're particularly interested in at the time are visible. You can hold down the command key and um, drag the feature radially. You can hold down the command key and drag the text of the feature separately and it will maintain its relative position when you uh, move the feature. You can see that um, texts move themselves so that they don't overlap. You can um, change the feature so that it uses an arc label instead of the um, Instead of the horizontal label, you can change the color of the label and the font size. You can change the size, the width of the label and of its um, outline. You can change the, uh, the arrow shape.
you can change the shape of both sides. You can um, do stem or map like um, arrows. So there's a lot of configuration options available. When you click on a feature, it will take you um, to that feature um, via a link. You can apply this formatting to the sequence and that will save the formatting, um, most of the formatting options back to the sequence. And so when you do the graphic map again, those, um, the, all of these formattings will be saved. You can um, click OK to go back to the graphic map. Now you can save this image either as an encapsulated postscript, as an SVG, as a PDF, or as a PowerPoint slide, and um, if you save it, for example, as a PowerPoint slide, and then open it in a reader, for example, Keynote, It's not saving it as a vector graphic, but it is saving all of the individual elements so they can be moved around and edited individually within the presentation. So that's the end of the APE video series number 11 graphic map configuration.